In this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to make corrugated pipes like this. All right, let's open up a new Blender file. General, don't save. All right, the first thing you wanna do is select your default cube, press X and then delete it. Then press Shift A, go to Mesh, and add a cylinder. Over here where it shows Add Cylinder, click on it and make sure that end gone changes to nothing so that there's no faces on either end. And then let's just, in this example, change the depth to 0.5 and scroll in with your mouse wheel, right click, shade smooth. Press tab to go into edit mode and then press control R to create a loop cut. If you see your loop cut looking like this, just move your mouse down so it looks like this and then click, click. Now we've got a beautiful loop cut. Now press control B, B for butter, and create a bevel like that. And now it looks like two loop cuts and we'll have it to about there. And now you can press E to extrude then press S to scale your extrusion, and then press Shift Z to scale your extrusion, but not on the Z axis. That's why we pressed Shift Z. Choose the thickness that you like. I'm gonna put it to about there. And then I'm gonna press Tab, go into object mode to see how it looks. Okay, I'm happy with that. It looks good enough to me. Now we can quickly add a curve by pressing Shift A, curve, and we're gonna use a busier curve in this example, S, 10 and one thing you don't want to do you, it won't work if you do this you don't want to press ctrl a and apply your scale or all it will break this so just don't apply don't try and reset the scale or anything you're going to run into issues right now that we've got that out there select your your cylinder and go to your modify properties add modifier and the first thing we're going to add is an array modifier and make the z-axis zero and make the, so the x-axis zero and the z-axis one. Now that looks pretty good to me. Now all we need to do now is minimize this, add a new modifier called a curve modifier, select the curve, and then change this to the z-axis. Now we can minimize this, open this up, and we can increase the count. And just like that, it follows the curve perfectly. And yes, we've just created a corrugated pipe, something you would see on your creepy quarrelly in your swimming pool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.